Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Well, uh, I got another fridge review for you and I had made the decision, I'm through with uh, fridge reviews because, you know, I've done plenty of them and there's what else is there to say? You buy, uh, you have a, really a couple choices. You buy a cheap one and you buy the best one you can, the best reviews and you hope it lasts a while or you buy a really expensive one and then you're pretty fairly sure it's going to last a long time. Um, and it's the in-between ones that I don't really recommend because you spend more and they don't necessarily last longer. So um, I decided not to do many more reviews. This company contacted me. It's Lion Cooler. This is the uh, Portable Fridge X40A. And he told me about it and he emailed me and I said, you know, this thing's really expensive. This is $759. And what they justify that this that's very, very expensive. If I were going to spend that kind of money, I would buy an Ingle. Uh, I'd spend a few hundred dollars more and buy an Ingle. Uh, but he said, no, what makes this one really special is it has a built-in battery. And that's becoming a thing now that these fridges are coming with built-in batteries. And so... Uh, I wrote back and I said, you know, for that money, you could buy a, uh, an inexpensive fridge and, and a battery station. And it would be about the same or maybe even less. And the, and the battery station is much more useful than just the uh, built-in battery. It's bigger and more useful than the built-in battery in one of these. And uh, he wrote back and said, it's true. This is really not for anyone on a budget. This is a higher end. It's higher quality. And it's for people who are traveling part-time or have the money to spend. They want the battery built in. So it's not for everyone. And I want you to know that I'm well aware this, this is not for everyone. But there are people for whom this will be a good choice. So the primary uh, reason I'm going to do this review is to give you my thoughts on should you buy a fridge with a built-in battery. This is 42 quarts. Uh, that's a pretty good sized fridge. Most of you will be happy unless you're a family. Uh, and it's made, the the company that makes it is Aco Power. They sent me this uh, 90 watt panel. One of the reasons I went ahead and uh, accepted it is because I have done reviews of ACO, ACO Power products in the past and they have been higher quality than most of the products I've seen. I remember specifically doing a, it, I don't think it was this panel, the panel I checked was 120 watts, but it was the same thing. It was a, a cloth folding panel and it was the best one in the test. It was the most expensive one in the test, but I thought it was by far the highest quality of all of them in the test. So. Uh, I have some experience with Aco Power and their solar panels, and I'm ready to believe this is a pretty high-quality product that will serve you well. This is always the fun part that I hate. Whoa! Oh, my goodness. I'm getting away. So who is this for? This is really for someone who's taking trips. If you're taking trips and you charge the battery up in this uh, before you leave the house, and then you just go on a week or two weeks or a month even, and you're charging it the battery off of the, while you're driving, and you've got the 90 watt panel, and every time you stop, you set the panel out. That might be all that you need, and you don't have to buy a complete separate power system. And so, in that way, this work would work really well for those people. That would this would work really really well to make it. It's very light. It's one of the lighter fridges. Or 42 quarts that I've seen. It's got a very stout and sturdy handle. It's got uh, very stout and sturdy wheels. You know, I can just pick this thing up and throw it around. For a 42 quart, that's good. You know, those look like really good wheels. And again, if if you're just taking trips, this thing makes an awful lot of sense with the wheels, with the handle, with the battery manual aqua power rechargeable solar fridge it's good that they give you a 110 charger so you're just ready to go you just plug this thing in and you're charging off 110 so let's say uh you're taking a month trip you're an overlander you're just off you're just off traveling or you're stopping in at motel rooms well you can stop in at a motel room once or twice and then uh 
plug it in at the motel room or if you stop at an RV park and you're tent camping in RV parks, you could stop and probably find some place to charge it. That's a good thing. I see, yeah, there's a place in back where this attaches. I'll, I'll show you in, in more detail. And then that's gonna hold all your cables. That's a good thing, very good. You, you, this is the 12 volt, and when you do the 12 volt, apparently you also have to go through the brick. Oh, okay, great. Here is the, uh, here's an MC4 cable. That's very, very good. That means that you can use any solar panel. You don't have to buy theirs, which $279 for a 90 watt panel is, is way too much. You can buy a cheaper panel. Although, like I said, my experience with Echo Power panels is they're higher quality than most, and we'll get this open here in just a minute and take a look at it. So, uh, everything seems really good. Everything I've seen so far makes perfect sense. So this is, oh, that is very small. And that's how I remember it. The, the, they were smaller and more power efficient. I don't know if they were power efficient or not, but they were definitely smaller. And that's a, that's a good looking unit. This is, this looks really good quality. Everything looks, looks really good. Uh, you know, I've, I've opened a bunch of these and some of them look like crap. As soon as you open them, you think this is just cheap junk. It's going to fall apart. I look at this and I think this is quality and it's going to last. Okay, so that's just a quick unboxing. We'll go from here and we'll have a have a little better look at everything and uh, check it out. Hi everyone. So now we're going to do a test, an overnight test of the battery. Running on just the battery, will it hold its temperature overnight? Or will the battery run down and it'll wake up warm? I don't know. That's the test we're going to find out. It's right now, it's running on uh, electricity. You can see that's its power brick. It's on 110. I have it hooked up to my inverter. And I have plenty of solar, so I just run it off the solar and the inverter. I don't care about wasting that much energy. So what we're going to do is unplug the power. It's not hooked up to anything. The battery is on. You can see that green light means the battery is on. I'm going to press this. And the battery is at four bars. Full, full battery. And the display shows it at four full bars. Okay, so it's 820, 34 degrees. We'll find out how long it'll run, keep its temperature on just the battery. So it is now 320 the next day and the battery is just about cooked. But you can see that it's at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. The battery's voltage is reading at 9.8 and it shows zero bars. So it was still running and I think it would keep running, but this is as low as I'd want to, I'd want to get it down to. Uh, it's done well. And remember you can buy a separate battery so you could swap the batteries out. Uh, if my math is right, and it may not be, it's been running on the battery for 19 hours. That's pretty darn good. Now, let me also let me add the battery. The, it's empty. Just to show you, I had some of the packing material and stuff from it, but there's no food. It would have stayed much cooler and worked much less hard had there been full of food. But remember, it's not hot either. Today was not a hot day. If it were summertime, it would have been more than offset by the extra heat, say if it was 90 degrees inside the van. Hi everyone, now we're going to do the final conclusion on the Lion Cooler. You've seen it, you've seen it unboxed, you've seen me using it inside my rig. I had it in there for about a week. Um, it's a very good unit. It's a really good solid fridge. The only not real knock I have against it is the, it's a little loud, but I don't think that's so much of a problem. My current fridge is an Ingle, and the Ingle was the loudest fridge I'd ever owned. And this is very slightly louder than it. And I just adapt it to the, to the extra volume. I think most of you won't be bothered by it. But it is a little bit loud. Um, it runs really well. It gets cold really fast. Everything about it is good. The quality appears to be really good. Aqua Power, who makes the Lion Cooler, I've owned some uh, used, tested Aqua Power products in the past, and they've all been really high quality. I've been very impressed with Aqua Power, so that was one of the reasons I took this. But what is unique about this is the battery inside. It has a 173 watt hour battery inside, and that's what we've been talking about all this time. So the question is, and this is a question I started to get, and that's why I accepted this product to test, is it worth it to spend the extra money to get the battery inside? 
And that's really the question. This is $759. Now, here's what I want you to consider. If you're on a really tight budget, should you buy this with the battery built inside or should you buy a three or $400 fridge of which are a dime a dozen on Amazon? You can buy it all day. You could buy a $300, $400 fridge. So buy a cheap fridge and something like this on the side. So this has the, the Echo Power Lion Cooler has a 173 watt hour battery. This has a 300 watt hour battery. So, and yes, this is a separate unit. It takes up more space, but you've got a, a not, not double, but a much bigger battery. Uh, and so I don't, these are, you know, these, there's a lot of these cheap clones. Um, and so uh, you can buy a, between a 200 and 300 watt hour battery all day on Amazon for $200, $250. Well, that means you could spend $500 on a cooler, buy a, a pretty good name brand cooler for $500, and then $250 for one of these cheaper ones, and you would have a bigger battery. You'll have the inverter. You can run 110 items. Um, you, you, it's so much more versatile. And if you're on a budget, that's what you should do. Really, what you should do is buy a good Blue Eddy. Uh, you know, because the Blue Eddies are the best. Now it's a lot more money. So now this was a this is an expensive one, and you probably you, this would cost more than the uh, a cheap fridge and this. But it's an idea. It's just an idea. That I'm just as a comparison. If you already bought one of these, and and that's what I do recommend is the Blue Eddies. Uh, instead of the 173 watt hour you have in here, you might have 500 watt hours or 700. This is the EB70, I believe it's a 700 watt hour. And so yeah, it's a lot more money, but boy, it's gonna last you forever and use a really good. This has a, and if you buy one with a LifePo 4 battery, which I, which most of the Blue Eddies do now, you'll have to double check that on the one you buy, um, it will last 3,500 cycles, whereas they're only offering 500 cycles on the battery in the Lion cooler because it's the cheaper battery. If you're on a budget, my, my bottom line is don't buy this. Buy, buy the two separate units. Who should buy it then? Well, if you live in a home, this is an excellent choice. You put this in the corner of your fridge or anywhere in your house. You keep it plugged in to 110. You always have a hot battery. The power goes out. You've got a fridge or a freezer with the battery that will keep going while the power's out. That's a handy, handy thing. And then if you go to the beach, uh, it's got wheels and a handle. You've seen me in the video rock, walking around with it on this very rocky desert. It rolls really well. It's excellent as a rolling fridge. So if you take it on a weekend camping trip out in the national forest, you pull out the solar panel, you got the battery, it runs just fine. It's really excellent for weekend campers, or if you go for a week or a month or a couple month trips, and you, you're a homeowner, you got a home base, and you go for a two month trip, this is really excellent because you're gonna be driving a lot. And so while you're driving, you plug it in, when the day's over, you unplug it, it'll run right on the battery. The next morning when you start driving again, you plug it in again, it keeps it charged. If you're an overlander, so you take six months trips, this would work really well as an overlander. And that's become a really popular thing uh, anymore. So you're doing a lot of driving. It's the same thing. You plug it in during the day while you're driving. It keeps up fully charged. It's got its own built-in battery. And of course, you're gonna have a battery bank on the side, a battery station, but this will relieve the pressure off the battery station. So this is a very excellent fridge and it's very useful for a few people, but for the majority of my audience, if you're on a budget, this isn't really the fridge for you, and I want you to know that. If you are tight, you don't have any extra money, then don't buy this fridge. Buy one of the less expensive fridges, cheaper fridges, off of Amazon and a battery station, and you're gonna be much better off. So I've repackaged this because it's going out on a sweepstakes, um, and through Homes on Wheels Alliance, when we, um, when they sent this to me, I asked them, uh, can I do the test? I don't need to keep it, I have an ingle. I'm keeping my ingle, I'm not ever trading that thing away. Uh, so I'll, I'll either give this away, can I use it as a sweepstakes for Homes on Wheels Alliance? And they said, yes, we would love that idea. Someone out there can get this and use it, and we would be very pleased with that. So you can go to homesonwheelsalliance.org, go to the homepage, you'll see the sweepstakes, and you can go and buy, buy a ticket, uh, or there's no purchase necessary. You don't even have to spend money to get a ticket. That's what makes it a sweepstakes. 
Now, you may be watching this years after I produce it, so let me, you need to know that this is, uh, I'm, I'm shooting this in November of 2021, and I will, the sweepstakes drawing will be in February of 2022. So if it's after that, you can't, there's no more sweepstakes, it's done. But uh, thanks again to Echo Power Lion Cooler. Great product, and uh, thank you so much for donating to Homes on Wheels Alliance as a fundraiser.